What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you guys a little something different. We get asked a lot of questions about how do you guys set up these pulls and does it take a long time? Here's how easy it is. We were pulling over here this morning. Now pulling over here. But what's so nice is we need to put an upwards pull on this. The car doesn't need to get necessarily pulled straight back. It needs to get pulled back and up. So here's how fast you can set this pull up. We've already got our chain and safety cable on here. Take our 10 inch ram, put it in the socket, lay our chain over the top, come down right here. Always, whenever you're using your machine, you want to make sure that the angle on this side is the same as the angle on that side. And now, for safety reasons, we can move our pump over to the side. I want to pull upwards a little bit more. No problem. We let off the tension that we have on it. We'll come over. We're just going to step it up a little farther on the chain. Once again, angle's the same, angle's the same. And we'll keep this process going, we'll repeat, and even possibly end up putting a pull right here and a pull right here. But today we just wanted to show you how quick it is just to set up a simple pull. If we wanted this pull to go straight back, we can do that as well. Now, we're leaned out. Pick our chain. Once again, our angle is the same on both sides, and this would give us a pull straight back. And once you learn this concept and learn how to use vector pulling with our machine, it's really limitless the, the directions and the ways that you can pull and ways to make money. In the video, we showed you how quickly you can set up a pull, but it really wasn't what we needed to pull on this truck. So this is one of the other things that you can do with your machine. We got three pulls all set up pulling upwards and outwards on the trailer hitch of this truck, which was the only thing that was hit. So we're trying to bend the frame back the way it was bent. So let's see what, uh, let's see what we can do here. Getting pretty close, but I also want to measure and start checking things and probably do a little hammering underneath. But instead of sitting here and trying to fight this with one pull, we just put three pulls in a matter of no time on this trailer hitch and we're, uh, we're getting in the ballpark now, like I said, where it's time to start doing some hammering and measuring. And everything that you see here comes with your three pull frame machine. So you can do this in your own shop the day it's dropped off. We'll see you guys on the next one.